Hi everyone, welcome to this video on grouping in Syncfusion Xamarin Forms Data Grid. In this video, I will show you how to group the rows in grid based on a column, enable multiple grouping. Also, I will show you how to perform expand and collapse operations. And finally, I will show you how to remove a group. I am using a sample application that was configured with all the necessary data grid namespaces and data. You can download this getting started sample from the link provided in the description below. And you can also watch the getting started video titled Xamarin Forms Data Grid Getting Started, which I have shared in this YouTube card. In the getting started tutorial, we saw how to bind data to the data grid using the item source property. Let me run this application in Android emulator. You can see the data grid bound with data. Now, I will show you how to group the rows based on a column programmatically. To perform group operation, I need to add the group column descriptions property in the data grid. Within this group column descriptions property, I can add one or more group column description. So I add the Syncfusion group column description. I set the column name as customer ID. I run the application. You can see the customer ID column grouped. To group more than one column, I need to enable the property grouping mode with the value multiple. So in the SF data grid, I add the grouping mode property and set the value multiple. Let me add another one column in the group column descriptions and set the column name as ship country. I save the file. You can see the grid that was grouped based on the ship country and then the customer ID column respectively. Next, let me show you how to allow group expand and collapse option in the data grid. To achieve it, I set the auto expand groups as true and then I set the allow group expand collapse to true. I save the file. Now you can see the expand and collapse option in the data grid. Next, I will show you how to hide these grouped columns when they are grouped. To achieve it, I set the show column when grouped property to false. I save the file. You can see the shift country column and customer ID column has been hidden. All these properties can be set in the code behind instead of XAML. Let me show you how to access these properties in code behind. In the code behind, I access the data grid object and set the grouping mode to multiple. I set the auto expand groups property to true. I set the allow group expand collapse to true. I set the show column when grouped to true. And then I set the ship country column to the group column descriptions property. And set the column name as ship country. I add the customer ID column to. I save the file and I remove the duplicate settings in the XAML part. Since I have added the same in the code behind, I run the application. You can see the columns ship country and customer ID has been grouped. Also, you can notice that the expand and collapse icons are visible. Since I have set the show column when grouped property to true, the columns customer ID and ship country is visible now in the data grid. Next, I will show you how to remove a column from the group column descriptions property. Let me stop the application. First, let me add a button control so that when clicking on it, I can remove a column from the group column descriptions property. I add a button control and set the text 
I set the text color to black. I set the background color as white. And then I add a clicked event. within the button clicked event. Using the data grid object, I access the group column descriptions property and remove the first item from the collection. This should remove the ship country column which is added first in the group column descriptions. Let me run this application. You can notice that the grid has been grouped based on ship country and customer ID. Once I click on the remove grouping button, the first index that is the ship country has been removed from the group column descriptions. Also I can achieve the same using the column name. To do that, let me block this line of code. To remove the ship country column, first I declare a variable. and I access the group column descriptions property and get the ship country item that is group column description. Using the data grid object, using the remove method, I pass the created ship country group variable. Sorry, I have done a mistake. Let me change it. Let me run the application. I click on the remove grouping button. You can notice that. The ship country has been removed from the grouping list. Also, I can clear the grouping by using the clear method from the group column descriptions property to achieve it. Using the redirect object, I access the group column descriptions property and call the method clear. I run the application. Now, when I click on the remove grouping button, it clears the grouping. Now, let me show you how these grouping properties work in iOS. I change the startup project to iOS. I run the application. You can see the same grouping behavior as I showed in Android app. I click on the remove grouping. It removes all the grouping. Now let me show you how these grouping properties work in UWP. I change the startup project to UWP. I run the application. You can see the same grouping behavior as I showed in the Android app. That's it. Finally, let me summarize the main points. I explained the steps to configure grouping, enable multiple grouping. Also, I showed you how to perform expand and collapse operations and finally I showed you how to remove a group. You can download this working example from the GitHub link in the video description below. You can also check if you are eligible for our community license which gives you a free license key to use our Xamarin products. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.